Hello, everybody, and welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. And today, I want to walk you through on how to create an awesome banner using MetaSlider. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create this banner here for our web page, and I'm going to show you how to do it using MetaSlider. All right, so let's get right into it. When you refresh this page, I'm going to show you what the slider does. It's going to flash, and it's going to shake. And you could create a banner like this for your web page. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to create this with our for our sister website, which is domainpricecheap.com. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your dashboard. So let's go ahead and load up our dashboard. Okay. And then you want to go to MetaSlider Pro. Hopefully you have MetaSlider. If not, I'll put a link in the video where you can get MetaSlider. Okay. So what I did is I went ahead and created a new slider. I'm going to start from scratch for you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit plus. That means you want to create a new slider. And then once we get our slider loaded up, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. Let's call this header tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let me click it here. Oops, wrong one. Let me click that one. And we'll call this header. Let's see here, header tutorial. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and get our image. Now, the image we're going to use is here in our Photoshop. The image size that we're going to be using, I'm going to use 1500 width by 30 height. Okay, so that's 1500 width by 30 height. And we're just going to create our little image that we have here. What I did is I went ahead and put a little uh, gradient. I just put green and black. Let me show you how I did it. So I selected green over here. This is not a graphics program, a uh, graphics tutorial, but I'll just show you step by step. So I had green and black, and then I just came over and grabbed my gradient, slid it down, and then it gave me that. Okay, so now what I did, I'm going to go to file, I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to create it for the web. So I'm going to hit save for web. I want to make it a JPEG, and it's going to be 1500 by 30, and we're going to save that. And I'm going to hit yes, and then I'm going to hit yes. Okay, so now we have our header created. Once again, we want our header to look like this. All right, so let me show you how we're going to get this header to our WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to go to your tutorial just made and you click add slide. And we want to do a layer slide. And then we go to upload files, select your file, and then you want to scroll to your hard drive where you just created your top header okay that's our header i call it top header whatever you want to la label your file okay so i will click it hit open and it's going to add it to my website or to my dashboard then i select that and hit add to slider now i have a slider that has this header in it now you want to make sure when you create your slide that it's the same image as your file 1500 by 30 see that right there you want to make sure that's the same size as this okay so now once you get that you go here you go to your launch layer editor let me show you one more time you click launch layer editor and this is where we're going to put our typing here okay so let's go ahead and do that we're going to put new layer and we're going to type in web let's see web hosting special And we'll say 375 a month. A month. Okay, and then you want to grab your thing here, spread it out so that way it stretches all the way across. We're going to go ahead and bold ours. We're going to center it. And we're going to make our font size. Let's go for maybe 24. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to use the Tahoma font. Okay, great. 375 a month. Okay, then you want to slide it over to the right. And we're going to make our background transparent. So you click background, slide it to the left, and you make it transparent. Then you hit choose. That way it's see-through. Okay, so you got web hosting special, 375 a month. You can even put over here customer service. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put 24-7 customer service. Okay, and then we'll slide that to the right and we'll make this go to the left like it is you could center it but we're going to make it to the left we're going to bold it and we're going to make it a little smaller 
We'll make it maybe 20. How's that? Okay. 24 7 customer service. Now we're going to hit save. Now we want this to flash when the page is loaded. So we're going to go to animation and we're going to wait maybe 0.5 seconds and we'll have it flash. And then we're going to wait 1.3 seconds and then we're going to have it shake. Okay. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and hit save and then we're going to hit close. So now we have our slider that is created. Now, how do you get this slider to the top of your web page? I'm going to show you the main secret right now. This tutorial is well worth thousand dollars, <laughs> but you know, you can make your own website at creatingwebsite.org. Now, here's the secret you want to do. Once you have your slider created, okay, you want to go to appearance and you want to go to editor. Let's go ahead and go there. And then you want to go over here to theme header. Okay. And we're going to insert some code here. Okay. But the code you want to get is, let me show you where you get it. This is a slider we just created, right? If you scroll down and you hit template include over here, see that over there? See, it says short code. This is where you can embed it anywhere in your, 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 uh, your web page. Or your WordPress but we want to embed it in our template so we're going to get template we're going to click template and inclu include and we're going to grab this code here and we're going to copy it then we're going to go back to the page I told you the editor page so you hit appearance editor okay and you let it load up now once it loads up we're going to input this code on the top of the page where we have our, our theme code so let's go ahead and do that okay so now here is the page that we have where we want to put our code so I'm going to show you where we're going to put that at this is our uh, where is it at uh, header where's the header at okay there we go steam header so this is the page where you want to do it so I forgot to tell you to click the header once you go back let me do it again okay so make sure everybody's on the same page appearance editor now once you go to your editor, you gotta go over here and you gotta click theme header. Okay, you click that. Then it takes you to this page. And we're gonna insert the code right under where it says body. We're gonna insert our code there. Bam. Okay, so where it says head body, and you got that code that we just copied. We want to paste it there. Okay, and then we're gonna hit wait, let me see. I think I did something wrong here. Yeah. So you want to, because this is an old slider I have in there, so I need to take out that code. And then I'm going to put my new code. You wouldn't have any code there because you don't have a slider yet. Okay? So, under body, you paste that code, you hit update file. You want to go to your website, hit refresh. So now we should have 24-7 customer support and web hosting. Now see how it's not matched up, right? So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And see how you got this background? We forgot to... Um, what do you mean? We forgot to uh, make it transparent. See how you have arrows showing you that it's a slideshow? We don't want that. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. So we're going to go back to Meta Slider Pro. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our launch layer editor and we're going to make this background transparent. So let's go ahead and slide it all the way to the left. Hit choose. Now it's transparent. Let's get rid of some of the padding and bring it, to, bring it up. There you go. Hit save. So the way I got rid of that space is I made padding zero. Same thing I'm going to do with this. Come over here, padding, let's make that zero. Okay, and we're going to hit save. Okay, now we're going to hit refresh on our page. And it should move up. There you go. All right, nice. Okay, so now, see these arrows? We're going to get rid of those. We're going to go back. We're going to hit close. See where it says arrows? Just uncheck that. Okay? Navigation, it's hidden. All right? Now, the cool thing about this is you can make your header change every time somebody visits your website. Because if you go down to here where it says advanced settings and where it says random, so I can come over here and put another slide. Say, like, I want to use another one. Say, I uh, can okay, do a layer slide. And I'm going to click the same one, right? same color but say I want to add something different say I have instead of web hosting special say I want to put 
domain name special domain name special and I can say click here so and let's put 9.99 9.99 domain name special click here so then I highlight it I come over here click my hyperlink and I say what page I want to go to so I'm gonna to go to our domain names pages so I'm gonna click copy link location and I'm gonna paste it in here so once again I got the location link of where this page is at and I put it in here and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna make sure the text is white so I'm gonna select white you know so make sure your font is white and then I'm gonna hit save so now I have two sliders okay I have one two one that has web hosting and one that has domain so they're gonna rotate now if I go to random they're gonna rotate whenever somebody clicks the page they're gonna rotate different headers different times so one time might be domain specials another time might be web hosting specials let's check it out you could even make an auto play where they automatically play and they'll rotate at the top but you know it's up to you let's go ahead and do that let's see how it looks let's go ahead and hit save and we're going to hit refresh now you're going to get different see you got your domain special blinking shaking boom say I refresh the page again and I want something different as a header up there it, it's it's going to change between those one and two you know it's going to rotate so let's see what we come up with here let's see we're going to refresh the page let's see which one pops up now our web hosting one pops up so I could put a hyperlink on there and make it go to our web hosting let me show you how to do that really quick I'm going to try to get it get you out of here within under 15 minutes okay so I highlight it click my hyperlink go to my web hosting page so I'm going to right click copy link location paste it in the URL here hit OK hit save and I got to make sure see how the font changed to blue you want to make sure it's white so I'm going to highlight it so they could see it so you make it white that way it stands out more and you hit save okay so now you have a slider that's rotating up there like you say he wanted to rotate so watch how it's going to rotate if I stay on the page it just it's going to slide oh wait maybe it didn't slide let me see let me see what happens here okay it came up boom 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 oh no I thought I saw it sliding I saw it sliding but or maybe it didn't or maybe it did but just once let me see what happened here auto play loop continuously yeah no it's sliding let me see oh there it goes see see how it slides but you could turn that off if you don't want it to slide you just come on over here take off autoplay hit save so now it'll be like its own header it won't it won't slide like a slider it'll look like you have different head headers on your web page I think that's pretty cool so you could do whatever you want you could put your specials up here you could make it rotate you could change the color however you want to do it so let's go ahead and refresh it one more time let's see what our page looks like now oh now our web hosting special comes up say they want more information then they could click it and it'll take them right to the web hosting page special maybe you have a special event coming up for your church for your ministry for your business for your uh music group and you want people to know about your new single release you could put that right up there see how it took us to our web hosting page it's pretty awesome see if I go home back to the home page takes us back to the slider and the little slider is up there all right thanks for tuning in like always if you have any questions go ahead and send me an email info at creatingwebsite.org good to talk to you talk to you later bye bye